Hello folks, this is uh, Rava Huja and I'm coming to you from um, the corner of the IBM Toronto lab where uh, a lot of the important decisions get made. Uh, we're going to be talking to Sal Vela and uh, there's Sal. How are you doing Sal? Excellent, excellent. Good to see you Rav. Good, good. Uh, do you have a few minutes to talk to us? Yes, of course. Please come in. All right, great. Well, Sal is uh, the head honcho, you can say, for uh, DB2 development. And his official title is Vice President for Development of DB2, Linux, Unix, Windows, and Business Intelligence. Um, but as you can see, he's not much of a suits kind of a guy. Um, Sal's actually pretty down to earth, and even being a vice president, being a developer is still in his blood. Um, so Sal, you took over uh, the reins uh, for DB2 development um, a little bit before version 9 of DB2 came out. Did, yes. What sort of priorities and focus did you put in place for um, you know, version 9 delivery? So, so we had uh, a couple of uh, uh, focus on a couple of areas. One around how we did what we did and we did uh, some pretty major changes around um, quality of what we were delivering and how we were delivering. Um, you may not know what we did internally, but we, uh, we actually did, uh, we did some, so a lot of changes around how we did uh, quality assurance. We had various teams doing quality assurance, put, brought them into a single team. Uh, one of the areas that was especially uh, painful was uh, migration. So we wanted to make sure that migrations to version 9 and beyond would be incredibly smooth. So we uh, brought those teams together, gave them a mandate to go fix migration. And that's been uh, uh, very, very smooth. I, I, tell you, I, I don't know of a single APAR uh, run into by our customers moving to version 9. So that's been uh, greatly improved. Just some other metrics in terms of, of quality. So after we ship uh, version 9, we, we follow how many APARs, how many defects from the field. Um, we're running at a rate of about 30% of where version 8 was in terms of APARs. So a tremendous uh, difference in, in, uh, in the quality of our deliverables from the lab. Some of that was the QA efforts. We did a lot of work around new methods of QA. So for areas that uh, we thought were had been problem areas, we instilled what we call a fit. Uh, it's, it's, it's a test of uh, functional iterative testing. So keep doing what you're doing. Crash, uh, do crash recoveries hundreds of well, thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Um, do those kinds of things re repetitively. We had a lot of instrumentation into the code. So we've got, uh, uh, at any point in time, we can, we can simulate an out of memory condition, um, a bad pointer, and see how the code reacts. Right? So uh, failure, how does the code respond to abnormal conditions in the, in the environment? So all that's been part of what we did for version 9 uh, and had tremendous impact. One of the other things we did as well was we put all of our um, level 3 organization, that's, that's people who fix defects, into a single organization, a dedicated organization. And what it's meant is that we're able to respond to uh, customer problems, customer uh, issues that much faster than we could before. So that's been a very positive story. So that's what we did on the on the development side um, and you, you see it through not only the quality but also the on-time delivery of releases. We've been able to set a date and make, make a date and you'll be able to you see uh, a Viper 2 shipping uh, at the end of October. We're actually pretty much done at the time of this, of the, at this recording. Um, the other change we, we made was from a business point of view. So as opposed to trying to satisfy all requirements for all customer segments, we said let's be good at a small number. Okay? Um, and, and we said let's go pick the segments. So one was, was warehousing, an incredibly important market for us, huge growth for us last year, about 30% year over year uh, growth. But let's, let's, let's go focus on that. We added items like uh, compression and uh, things like uh, 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 range partitioning were part of, of those kinds of items in workload management in 9.5. Um, SAP, and SAP is an instance of embedded applications, so make it easy for DB2 to be embedded within ISV applications. SAP is a huge partner for us, but th the same is true for other partners like Lawson, but be a good embedded uh, database. So here we added items like 
uh, automatic storage, things like self-tuning memory management, where DB2 is a silent partner for the application. An important other constituency for us is ISVs in general. Make it easy to program to our interfaces. Uh, some of that you'll see in 9.5, you'll see addition of a whole new uh, developer workbench, a whole new set of developer tooling. Make it easier to develop applications for DB2. Be first on things like Ruby on Rails with uh, first commercial drivers on those platforms. XML uh, is, is the, th the fourth priority. XML is an important uh, data a type of data. If you kind of if you figure, we figure that 85% of the data in an enterprise is not stored in a relational database. Now, I, I like to think that, that the 15% uh, that's stored in a relational database is the most important data in an enterprise, but the fact is that 85% is not stored in a relational database. So it's email, reports, documents, all that, that sort of content. Now, but half of that can be created in one form or another of XML. And that's why we spent about 500 person years of development effort or about 100 people for a span of five years in, make, in making uh, DB2 a first class uh, repository for XML data. And that's our pure XML support. And the fifth pillar that we chose was customers. So key customer pain points. In every release, you'll see us addressing um, a set of those to make it easier to use DB2, easier to adopt uh, DB2. So those were two changes. One around development, make sure we, we have a, a process that we can execute with quality. Um, and delivery schedules, and the other one around uh, uh, business uh, business priorities, being focused around those. All right, sounds good.